Yo, yo, yo. What is up, y'all? It's True here. <clears throat> AKA True Never Lacking. Back with another video. And today, we're going to be discussing Blake Bortles on the Packers. So, let me load up this roster real quick. Crack my knuckles. And, uh, Packers fans. Packers fans. We actually signed another quarterback. I'm not too mad about it. You know why? Because guess what? I don't think a lot of y'all know that Nathaniel Hackett used to be with Blake Bortles when he was in Jacksonville back in 2015, when the Jaguars was actually very legit in 2016 and 17, I believe. Yeah, 17, yep. Yeah. Then after that, they just completely fell off. Hackett came to us. He's our offensive coordinator, so Blake Bortles should definitely fit well in our scheme. He's familiar with Nathaniel Hackett. And uh, this is not a bad sign. I had to think about it, but this is not bad. Rodgers is definitely out the door, and if he is, I'm not too mad about it. I'm really not too mad about it. There he is, Mr. Rodgers. I low key, he can he can get traded, bro. I wouldn't mind him getting traded. It's time for us to start new. I'm looking to start fresh, you know. Looking for uh, here he is, Blake. You know, I'm just looking for somebody to come in and help Jordan Love be a great mentor to him. I think Blake can do that. I really do. 28 years old from UCF, Central Florida. I don't know what number he'll be. He'll probably will be number five. But, um, you know, this is not a too bad of a side for us, man. Like, he gonna be decent. And plus, like I said, he knows Nathaniel Hackett, too. Yeah, this is definitely a um, B plus sign, if you ask me. Mr. Bortles, welcome to Green Bay. I hope you do well. Rogers on the me hand, he definitely getting traded. As for Devontae, man, I really hope he stays with us. But if Rogers leaves, he might likely leave. So we go have no receivers if he leaves. Look at this, y'all. Funches, Scantling, Lazard. Brown, Winfrey, I think we cut him, though. Reggie Begleton and Malik Taylor, I don't even think we got him no more, so. Our wide receiver depth is not looking too good if he leaves at the moment. Mm. I do like Tanya, though. Know? This is really nice for us. I love that tight end, man. Breakout season this year, or I should say last season. I think he had 11 receiving touchdowns. Not bad, man. Like, I hope he continues to prove, and he's going to prove everybody wrong, bro. He definitely could be at the next Gronk, I think. Or even uh, George Kittle. He got the um, skill uh, skill set for it, excuse me. And uh, I really think he has a bright future. I really do. Lewis, though, he's getting old. <laughs> I guess he's a mentor to Tanyan, but hey, Lewis, you've been doing it, man. Keep doing your thing, dog. We need you, man, to be a mentor to these tight ends on the team right now. So keep doing what you're doing. So. I really think. Oh yeah. Kevin King. I hope this man right here. This is the man right here. That I'm hoping that he has a great season. Please. I believe in you. I want to trust you. Because last season you did not do too well. But obviously my team sees something in you. So you better prove a point next year. Kevin King. Please. That's all I want. Okay. I will trust you. Trust the process, like Philadelphia, 76ers, that's their slogan, by the way. And Eric Stokes, Eric Stokes, you have the best speed for our cornerback dead man. 98, look at that, 97 acceleration. Come on, Stokes, I believe in you too. You can definitely surpass Kevin King if you play good this year. I really do believe that. Eric Stokes, we believe in you, my guy. So keep on Proving everybody wrong, prove to everybody that you can be a number two or number one corner, possibly. So, hey, I'm not going to give up on you just yet. Darnell Savage, man. This man right here, he is the truth. This man, I think he had six or seven interceptions last season. That man was balling out. So, Savage, keep doing what you're doing, brother. And Amos. I wish he could be better in coverage because he's terrible in coverage, but he's a great tackler. That's what he's known for. But you have to improve in coverage, my man. Come on now, Adrian Amos. You got this. 
All right, I believe in you. Next season, prove everybody wrong. Prove that you can be that Ed Reed type. You know what I mean? Get picks, not just tackle, but get the interceptions as well when it needs me and when time matters. When the game is on the line, we need you to step up, my guy. Come on, Amos. You got this. Oh, yeah. Let me cut Raven Green because he's not with us anymore. All right. Oh, yeah. So, guys, we also have another move that happened today. The Washington football team signs Charles Leno. I know Stacy was happy about that because he does not want them to be on his Broncos. But I feel like he's a great left. Look at this. Great left tackle. Football team needed it. And they got it. And they signed him to a one-year deal. Which was not bad. So, Leno. I hope he could prove a point there in Washington. I hope he um prove all the doubt is wrong. He can be one of the starting best left tackles in the league. Like a Laramie Tunsil, David Bakhtiari, even a, um, let me see who the Browns left tackle, because I forgot his name. Oh, Derek Willis, he's nice, and I like, uh, Jack Conklin, or Conklin, there we go. That whole line for Cleveland is amazing, man, uh, I gotta give him that. But Leno, welcome to the football team. I still don't know why they went with that name, but hey, I respect it. Hopefully they might change it to the Red Wolves or Red Tails. I mean, I personally like the Red Wolves. That's my favorite for them. The Red Tails wouldn't be too bad either. So, there you have it. Oh, wait a minute now. I will break down some things that could happen, y'all, if y'all want to know. Now, Julio Jones. I don't know if he'll go anywhere, but will the Falcons be smart enough to keep him? Or will they trade him? Because I know a lot of teams are interested in him, like the Patriots. And I think the... Who else is interested in them? I think the Raiders were. I think the Raiders were interested. I think we was. But I don't know about any more. And I know Detroit was, too. Um, the Patriots. Gilmore could possibly get traded, too. Watch out for this name right here, Gilmore. Because he possibly can definitely get traded. I promise you. I don't know if he will, but I think he might. I don't think the Patriots want to take on that big contract for him no more, so... I really do believe he will get traded somewhere. Somebody wants him. Cleveland, <laughs> maybe. And what else do I want to break down for right now? Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, Watson. Oh, yeah. Watch out for this name as well. Keep an eye on Watson, y'all. He could definitely be on the move, too. I don't know when. I don't know how. But he will not be on this team next season. I guarantee you that much. Watch out for teams like Denver and Philly. Those are my two targets for him. Like, seriously. The Eagles desperately need him. Jinx, I'm sorry. Your team needs a quarterback. I'm sorry. I don't believe in Hurts. He's a bum. Watson will definitely fill that need for y'all at that spot. And Stacy, don't even get me started with your Broncos. Drew Locke is a bum as well. Boy, I don't believe in that guy, man. Y'all need a legit quarterback. Y'all really do. Okay? I'm sorry. At least I'm being honest, right? Now... Watson can definitely take the Broncos to the top. Definitely. That defense, look at this. Look at this defense, y'all. Like, seriously, don't nobody believe in Teddy B. Look at these quarterbacks. Teddy B. Drillack. Brent Ripon. Like, come on, man. Do we really believe in them three, bro? I like these running backs. I like McGordon. I like Freeman. I like Williams. I like Boone. Those are nice. I like this Robert Seaman Corps. So, uh, Cortland Sun, Tim Patrick, Jerry Judy, Seth Williams, KJ Hamler, Deshaun Hamilton, Deontay Spencer, and the list goes on. Like Denver, tight ends, Noah Fent, Albert O, Eric Saubert, <laughs> Austin Fort. <laughs> Nobody cared about those bums. O line, Garrett Bowles, Dalton Reisner, Lloyd Cushenberry, Graham Glasgow. Juwan J. The cut this bum right now, please. Injury pulled self. Always getting injured. Season haven't even started yet. You always getting injured, man. Like seriously, what's wrong with your health? What do you eat in the off season? You need to take control of your health, Juwan James, because there's just no way you should have that icon on the right side of the screen. Seriously, stop getting hurt, or else somebody's gonna fill in this right tackle spot. It's definitely not gonna be your ball head itself, you dirty joker. Draymond Jones, nice. Deshaun Williams, nice. Shelby Harris, nice. 
Mike Purcell, nice. Shamar Stephan, nice. I know him because he used to be with the Vikings. I know how he played. Von Miller, of course, nice. Malik Reed is nice. Alexander Johnson is nice. Josie Jewell is nice. But he's slow. Bradley Chubb, of course, nice. He need a superstar. Hopefully he gets it this year. Kyle Fuller, amazing. Bryce Callahan, amazing. Ronald Darby, good. Patrick Sertain, could be possibly amazing. Michael O.G. Amudia, he's decent. Or maybe he's good. Stay Smith, he's good. Like, man, be quiet. I don't know what I'm talking about. But no, O.G. Moody, I respect him. But he is going into his second season. So let's see what happens. Kevin Tolliver, hurt. Nate Harrison, he's saying Bagley, good. But he's hurt. Pernell Motley, maybe he's good, I think. From Oklahoma, he might be good. Justice Sim is amazing. Trey Marshall, eh. P.J. Lack, eh. Kareem Jackson, amazing. Duke Dawson, eh. Brandon McManus, one of the best kickers in the uh, league. Sam Martin, I guess he's an okay putter. And there you have it. And of course, let me break down Rodgers one more time, y'all. Where he at? Like I said, Rodgers, thank you for all you done for Green Bay, but you need to get out, man. It's time for Jordan Love. I want to see what he going to do next year. Like, seriously, you can go to Denver or the Raiders or whoever, but hey, Rod, I wish you the best of luck. I just don't want you to be arrogant on my team anymore. I don't want you to be cocky on my team no more. All right, I'm, I'm looking for a change at quarterback. I want a leader. I hope Jordan Love could be that leader for us that we've been looking for. Because A-Rod, sometimes, man, you be pissing me off. But I love you, but you be pissing me off. So I hope you go somewhere where you could possibly win a championship because it looks like you're never going to win with us because you always choke. We're not just going to keep on blaming it on the defense. I know it's the defense fault. Don't get me wrong, I know, but I'm not going to keep on being biased and saying, hey, Rodgers didn't do bad. Yes, you did. It's all on you. You're the quarterback. You're the leader. You are the number one guy on our team that should be controlling everything, especially on offense. You've been here a long time. You have 15 years of experience. You went to California. You've been here since 05. You're supposed to be leading Devontae Adams and Aaron Jones to greatness, but no, what do you do? You complain and whine a lot to the rest. That should be a flag. Why? Oh, why does he get to get away? But just play the game, man, okay? This is why we can never go to the Super Bowl because we have your arrogance getting in the way and the defense always sounding like they caught that dumb flag on Kevin King for pulling those, um, I forgot who that wide receiver was. I think it was either Brown or, um, who was it? It was, that was somebody on Tampa Bay, sorry, self. But anyway, they should never caught that flag on Kevin King, bro. I was so upset when they caught that flag, bro. I, like I told you, I hid under my cover when I saw that. Like, seriously, I was so upset. I'm like, we are not going to Super Bowl again because of either the refs. Well, we could blame them too, but Rogers fault. And also Matt LaFleur. What was his, what was he thinking? calling a field goal on fourth and two go for it you want to risk it for the biscuit don't you why would you kick a field goal on fourth and two at your own 10 yard line i don't understand like seriously that also made me upset too but we're not gonna we're gonna speak on that in another day i'm getting revved up already but guys let me know if you want more content like this i will definitely break down these players and talk about them if y'all like um, if y'all found this video entertaining, please make sure you like, subscribe, share with everybody. And guys, man, we growing, I promise you. I'm going to keep on grinding. More is on the way. This is not going to stop, I promise you. I love all my subs, man. I love you guys. Y'all make me motivated, and y'all keep me motivated, and I'm going to keep on doing it, man. I promise. So, until next time, I am out. Signing off. True Never Lacking. He's out, y'all. See y'all next time. Much love.